Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Toyota Highlander XLE. Now the most notable features on this XLE is its power moonroof. You also have your power liftgate along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Toyota Highlander XLE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XLE is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. The other nice thing is if you take a look just down below, you'll see your plug-in block heater, hood deflector, and over on the side, you'll see your 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have the body side moldings. So the nice thing with the body side moldings is if you're in a tight parking lot and somebody accidentally hits their door against yours, it's going to hit the body side molding instead. Now you have the integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors, and heated mirrors, and then you also have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push it once, it'll lock all doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Blizzard Pearl. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side, you're going to see your power lift gate release, window wiper de-icer, and then on the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seek function mode select, voice recognition, you have the Bluetooth, and then over on the right you'll see your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the main uh, multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features in here. So if we scroll through, you can actually see your range, as well as your eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and then scrolling over some more, you can go through the navigation, audio, messages, and then your settings menu, just so you can personalize everything for yourself. At the very top of the screen, you'll see an exterior temperature gauge, and taking a look now at the center dash, as well as the touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here. Up at the top, you'll see the digital clock, and then inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, you do have the driver EC speak function, so with the driver EC speak function, you can actually have your voice projected through the speaker system to the third row to make things much easier for you when you're communicating with the third and second row just while you're driving. You have your dual zone climate control settings located down below with your hazard lights, rear temperature controls over on your right hand side. Underneath, you'll see your traction control on and off. You have your snow mode, downhill assist control, and your all-wheel drive lock with your USB and auxiliary input and your power outlet. Now, it's matted to an automatic transmission with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Taking a look at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror, and a couple of the controls you'll find include your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof, integrated garage door opener controls, and then you also have the sunglass case holder with an additional mirror on the inside there just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like so as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate you'll see your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located on, uh, sorry, underneath your uh, Toyota emblem. Now, closing in on the rear cargo space, as you can see, the nice thing is you do have the cargo liner in the back, so if you spill any liquids back here, it makes things much easier to clean up afterwards just because you can have it removed and cleaned up properly afterwards. You have the tonneau cover in the back here, or I should say cargo cover, just so that you can cover up your valuables just while you're uh, sorry, going from place to place. And then you have a 60-40 split for your second row, so if you need more additional cargo space, you can fold it down. For your third row, it's a 60-40 split as well, so if you need some additional passengers in the back here, then you have the option of doing so, and if we take a look just underneath the floor, you'll find some of the floor storage space where you can hide away some of your valuables. This is also where you'll find your jack and tool kit, and you'll also access your spare tire, which is located just underneath your rear bumper. Now, the other thing I like is that you do have that power adjustable tailgate, so all you have to do is hold down the button for approximately two seconds at height you'd like it at, 
it'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to that height for you. However, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.